Now we're going to apply and create some car parking space into this area. This is our main entrance. Just here. And we can go from here and then let's apply some spaces and so let's go to master. Here you will see the parking component. So we can apply some parking components here. This is the standard 90 degrees uh, and parking space. So let's place one first. Here at the edge, is the corner is one parking space. The next one will be here. So we can just fix like this and copy. This space, select multiple, select the reference. So we can create our, our parking space for the lines and the uh, until we have reached our position so we have created our space there so we create so this is the space so we can come here and maybe go another car park space on this so let's select this mirror select the First, we are here. Uh, let's create a annotate or detail type for us to have to use as reference. So we don't need it. But then we go back to here and use the mirror command. Select the middle, uh, the line, and then we have it here. Now let's copy to select multiple again to add in more our parking space until we have fully occupied the whole floor grid. So whatever remains there is just uh, empty space or reserved space for any we call it unused space so that you can be something like a storage or you can place any materials that they be kept inside or in the car parking area. That's the reference line. So, if you want to place uh, so the cars, you go here, park here. This is just a, uh, an approximate of the car parking space that we need to place. But we can, the minimum requirement is a 6 meters distance uh, in between the car parking space for the cars to park in and then have a space to go out with a 90 degree bend. So we may later add in some. Ah, we just add in first. Let's place another machine. And then the power part Let's place another. Or we're just going to copy another stretch. Let's assume that the cars can go here. Let's remove this this now, this board. So the car can actually make a U-turn here and then go back. So here is the space. We may also park some there here. But for this layout and for this exercise, is that this is how to create or model some car track space in Revit. If you go in 3D, you can see that the lines and the positions of the car parking space are also modern and you can see it in 3D and also in Kanye. Now one funny thing is all this scale is too small, let's make it clearer so if you encounter this kind of issue, just set the scale to 1 is to 50. So to make the text or the grid lines bigger, so let's set it to 1 is to 100, we can make it visible. Hit apply, cancel, hit apply. If you are bothered by these uh, grid lines, you can still adjust it, just select this. Select all this line 
unpin it select unpin select and unpin and the last two lines now we have this in this position it's locked so we unlock it and we can move it by dragging it all the grid lines will follow at the same time at the same location then you pin it back again so it won't be accidentally so that is how to adjust if any interference with your motor against the grid or the button then um, check uh, make sure it's selected so you don't select those pins pinned elements and models so that is how to create a parking space in Revit thank you